You know, this is a story that never ends. I don't care what none of y'all say. Monique is a gift that keeps on giving. So I'm back like I said I would. And I'm going to do two articles about Monique. This is the first part of this. Um, I was supposed to do this, you know, of course, a couple of days ago. But I didn't get a chance to because I was busy. But this is part one. So this is courtesy of Yahoo. And it reads, D.L. Hoogley's daughter to Monique, keep every single member of my family's name out of your poisonous mouth. The Monique D.L. Hoogley saga continues with Hoogley's eldest daughter coming into the fray. Over the weekend, Monique reached a new level in her feud with Hughley when she reposted a radio interview featuring Hughley talking about how people are having trouble believing Bill Cosby could have committed sexual harassment and assault. To make his point, Hughley talked about how he had a difficult time believing that one of his friends molested his youngest daughter. The reason it hits home to me is because my youngest daughter said something happened to her and because it was something I liked, somebody I liked, I didn't believe her and I'll never get that moment back. I'm supposed to protect her and I'll never get that back. That she told her father something and he didn't do something about it because it was inconvenient. Monique claimed that her reposting the years old video wasn't re-traumatizing Hughley's daughter saying it seemed if Hughley did apologize, which it seems like he has or at the very least, is evident contriction in the video. It would erase the trauma. But many people, including my, uh, uh, many of her fans, have called her out for potentially re-traumatizing Hughley's daughter by using her trauma just to get back at Hughley for a supposed incorrect contract agreement and for a question one of his co-hosts when she was on his radio show years ago. Hughley's eldest daughter, Ryan Nicole Shepard, has since comment, com commented herself on the matter, writing how Monique's decision to repost the video shows her character. You've now publicly disrespected my mother, who I love and care for very much, and my baby sister, who I love and care for very much, to get back at my father, who I love, respect, and care for very much. At this point, I feel like you are asking my family and myself to act out of character. She wrote under Monique's post about Hugh Lee's interview. Out of all the things you could have legitimately said about my dad, if that's the route you want to take, you choose to deliberately be mean and hurtful to two black women who have nothing to do with this conversation. Using my mother and my sister to show people my father's character only shows how little mental stability ooh, and dignity, morality, and respect you have not only for yourself, but for other black women, she continued. You're clearly the two crayons short of the full boxes. You're disgusting. And you absolutely need to keep every single member of my family's name out of your poisonous mouth. Not because you can do us harm. You can't. Because you are added to the historical and systematic disrespect and trauma of black women. Who you claim to love. And for what? A check? You're bringing up trauma for a concert line of discrepancy. All you've done is proven that you have no more compass. Nothing is too far in your question to prove a point. And I'm blessed that my parents raised children who have no idea how you could possibly go here. At the end of the comments, Shepard wrote that if Monique wanted to speak with her, she would happily provide her address. Monique responded, reposted the comment, writing, Hey, young sister, thank you for the invitation, for the discussion. We would like to take you up on it because if it could be very hill of our community. Have people set up a time for you and your family and my husband on to come on his show and we will go from there. Love us for real. Now, I'm going to stop there because this is like the whole Twitter feed and it's just like all like the whole Instagram stuff. Here's the problem I have. I get that nobody likes what Monique did. But the thing is that, Dio, you open this door. You talked about this about a year ago, way before this thing happened, okay? Now, Monique is saying that she just found out about this last week. One day before she spoke about it, somebody gave her a video of him talking about it. So they gave it to her as if to say, listen, like, we, we, we got some dirt on him. 
he don't even look out for his daughter. So, of course, he's been doing you dirty. If he could talk bad about his daughter and not believe, if he could not believe his daughter and believe her friend, who, come to find out, were the same age and it happened to her when she was 13, of course he's going to, you know, dog any other woman. I have an issue with the 13-year-old and him calling that a friend. I'm thinking that the friend was a peer of his in terms of age group. The boy was born in the late 80s, early 90s. DL, what the hell was you thinking and what the hell was you doing? See, now it kind of all makes sense. So, as far as I'm concerned, Monique, move on. It's not worth losing the credibility over this. You're an Oscar winner. And your performance in Precious was phenomenal. And no, I don't think you're a monster. What I think it is, is I think you're frustrated and you don't know how to act things out. And I feel as though you need to talk to that promoter because the promoter played you and played him. But I would just stay away from the whole crew. And just do your comedy sessions, do your comedy tours, your shows, and that's all. And later for him. And with that being said, I'm signing out. I'll be back shortly to give you part two to this, okay? Later.